TNT near maple syrup. It's near this complete breakfast. C&P chicken and potatoes. At C&P, we know our repairs going. Just plug the last of the O2 leaks. I'm ready for downtime. Nasty encounter you had down there. Fucking pirates, right? How you planning to spend your night off? Some lonely young Mardette with starships in their eyes? Hmm. <laughs> Figured I'd get in some quality time with Vera's stock. Let me know when you're heading out. We'll get drinks the night before. Oh, neat! They got stuff in here I ain't seen in ages. Some freelancers sneer at Sublight for setting up a storefront, but they rake in the bit. <laughs> Sally, or, uh, Dr. Fenhill. I noticed your pistol sitting What are you talking about? I oil it every night. Look here. Your slide's not recoiling fully. You might be due for a new spring. I could take a look. Maybe fix it for you. Uh, sure. I'm short on bits at the moment, but I'll pay you back. Oh, no. I mean, it don't cost nothing. I got a spare spring in my pocket here, even. Everything's got a price. Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. You the one flying the unreliable? Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. Hey, Doc Fenhill. Glad to see you ain't moved on from Groundbreaker yet. Hey, Tobias. How's the leg? Good as you left it, ma'am. Still bends and everything. A bullet went through it, most of the way. The other guy thought his ship was perfectly operational. I told him it was salvage. We disagreed. I won. Workplace hazards, Captain. Pretty routine around here. Sure am. A few years back, they got me started on simple acquisitions. You know those latches they put on cargo bays ain't worth a damn? These days, I stick to HQ and look after Miss Lilia. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hagen, CEO and Executive Director of Aggressive Operations. 
I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. Charmed. It's nice to see the Unreliable again. Useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. I didn't ask. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings. But there's a catch. Wouldn't be much fun without one. If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? First, an embargo that's been active ever since the board pulled its forces off world. Few regulations, plenty of freedom. And second, all the goodies that no one had time to pack. I like that initiative, but ease back on the throttle. Gladys at the rest and go might have what you need. If there's anything else, be quick about it. Time is bits. These days, the scrap business all but runs itself. Gives me the time to expand our interests into other sectors, where I can let my hair down. Our field is persuasive acquisitions. At least that's how my legal advisors tell me to phrase it. Not all of our salvage is abandoned when we find it. Sometimes it takes a polite conversation and a shot across the bow. You know, legal formalities. Good boy. Knew you'd understand. Be seeing you. Make sure you aren't followed on your way out. If you're hungry, you've come to the right place. I've got a fresh ground batch of Spratwurst cooking. They're terrified to lock in the juices. How about a grinder's dozen? You know what Sprats are? Space rats. The laboratories of Spacer's Choice found a use for this limitless frontier resource. Sprat meat is plenty tasty when properly prepared. We grind them up in sausages, then terrify them in their own juices. Terrifying is a Spacer's Choice brand secret. A mix of 13 herbs and spices, plus a dash of modern chemistry. Legally? No. The terrifying method was developed and marketed by Spacer's Choice. Between you, me, and this grinder, I've been through lean times. If there's one thing you learn on tramp freighters, it's how to make near anything edible. 
Might be that this old space hand put a few words in the right ears. And could be that Spacer's Choice liked sticking it to C&P by R&Ding our own special meat. Just as well, near about time for me to go check on the trap. I mean, to unload another crate of farm fresh sprats. Fresh from the grinder, any hour. You look like someone who's taken their share of cuts and bruises. Need some armor? Maybe it's a bit secondhand, but that's only a testament to its durability. We also have a line of specialized melee weapons. For those times you have to repel borders, but don't want to risk a bullet through the hull. Everything I sell is fresh from the forge. Technically, the metal formed billions of years ago, but it's freshly in the shape. And an old Yakita 37? You think they'd let me peek at the power plant? Hot or unusual in here. Hope we're not catching June Lay on a bad day. Pivotal day. I spent all day in here and not have looked at half the best stuff. It's all pretty worn though. Performance enhancing scanning. A task force present. Coaches. June Lay Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. 
So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. Dr. Fenhill, I hope you've reconsidered my offer to stay on full time. My crew are never short on dents and bruises. I'm trying to live a more balanced life. Gun in one hand, scalpel in the other. I already knew it'd be easier to teach an auto mech heart surgery than to change your mind. Fair travels, Ellie. They're risky, but the odds are still a little better than waiting for certain death. We don't see a lot of competent surgeons on Groundbreaker. Dr. Fenhill is my on-again, off-again freelancer. I take it she'll be joining your crew full-time? I don't like to put a label on things. Let's keep it casual. If you ever decide to settle down, there's a home for you on Groundbreaker. What? I didn't think you'd just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Right! In person. Sh sure thing, Captain. Wow, great! I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your, your name's pretty too. I should have said... Sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Sorry, I forgot not everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned and a haven for miscreants now. You must not have been here long. In Halcyon, new parts come by way of interstellar freighters from Earth, and the board monopolizes that kind of trade. That means I'd have to negotiate with the board. I've already given them the shops, the docking fees, and a damn embassy. Damn right. And while I'm captain of the Groundbreaker, it falls to me to preserve this ship's independence. Those idiots are immune to reason, and they don't much care if the station melts to pieces. They're content to die last. If you could find some way to solve this without violence, I'd prefer that. But more than anything, we need those parts.
I have. One of my engineers, plus a small security detail. They didn't come back. I can't afford to lose any Mardits on this job. No offense, but a freelancer like you is more dispensable. Nice and pragmatic. Thanks for understanding. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Do you have what it takes to defend your corporate township from the dangers of alien wildlife and the unemployed? Talk to your local manager about applying for military training and lend your life to protecting our wonderful brands and products. Military service does not guarantee full employment rights, tax breaks, military discount, health benefits, military burial, participation medal, training, or weapons. by Halcyon News. All the news that's fit to broadcast.
Hey, Miss Red, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. No sudden movement. This guy's crazy, even by my standards. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Burning to death is one of the most painful ways to go. Just in case you needed a reason to get us out of this. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. I know this ain't a toy, neighbor from above. It's a catalyst, just like me. Keep talking. I like the sound of your voice. That's right, sir. Just the parts. We'll be in and out in a jiff. You won't even know we were here. Tennyson just keeps feeding the furnace, don't she? We're still playing with her last sacrifice out back with the crew. We were just sitting in a circle, sucking down exhaust fumes and toasting to the memory of our brain cells. Making this broken angel fly again. You don't just ask a king for a favor when you're standing in his court. You bring tribute, sacrifices, prophecy, shit like that. Under its skin, this ship is all poison and darkness. Lead bones, asbestos muscle. Maybe you're right. You've got the run of the kingdom. Up those stairs, you'll find the parts. My crew won't get in your way. Lay it on me, boss. I'm good for it. Ship got impounded. The crew and I racked up a debt while we were grounded. And my baby got sold to Sublight. Scrapped for parts. That's bureaucracy for you. Piracy with a smile. Am I your dark reflection? Shit, must be getting old. Stay here too long, and the groundbreaker drains you like a fuel tank. You can come and go in my little kingdom. Just try not to piss off any of the gestures.
find a new friend. This worm fixation is screwing with the fun of mine. Backside's still smart, Sam. Does everyone get branded when they join McRed's crew? Nope. Your ass is a priceless canvas now that it's home to an original McRed. I guess I'm honored. That automatic patch. McGred wants it up and running. I'm trying to think of a good name before I wake it up. Don't give it a name. Oh. Wake up. There's no such thing as pizza. It's all open faced pasta. You've been getting into the boss's special stash again, haven't you? This place is falling apart. You can't spell groundbreaker without broken. Oh, wait. Liz is going to be pleased as pie when we show her these. Are those hibernation pods? And I thought my bunk was small.
is Halcyon Noon. We interrupt your regular... You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight manticular infestation. More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. Welcome! Looking to give a beating or take one? Itching to whack someone over the head? We can help with that.
Okay. The controls are on the back of the machinery shaft area. Keep clear of the radiators. You don't need to kill the mass killers, but I'd be mighty grateful if you did. I've got this thing about giant insects. tells me the security mechanicals booted up and killed a bunch of men. Bad news. Diagnostic says their circuit boards are fused from the heat, so they're not too picky about who they kill next. Sneak fast if you can. Shoot back if you need to. I can always fix them later.
Processing. the terminal. I have the parts in position on my side. Go ahead and cycle the droplet pumps. And if you don't know what that means, just look for a command that says, cycle droplet pumps. Stop by once you found your way out of there. Groundbreaker owes you things.
This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Do you... My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life-or-death decisions on a shoestring budget. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the Groundbreaker. My grandmother, Chief Gang, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was promoted only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from Chief Engineer to Captain. They must have been amazing people. To have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. Appreciate it. There wasn't much that took me by surprise about the job, but the little things you never expect or think about, they add up over time. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennysons know about. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Not like a chief engineer. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. If you could find your way around this labyrinth of ducks and panels, we could work something out. You see any bite-sized Tennyson children running around? I didn't think so. The next captain won't have my heritage. I'll have to foster that talent from somewhere. It's only a question of when. You've got my attention. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled... You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. And no, Ellie, that offer does not extend to you broadcasting another of your crude jokes. Hey, that's a real planet. And no one's seen it in a long time. Damn it, Ellie! I don't have time for your shenanigans! Anyway, like I was saying, you aiming to send a message, you better be quick. Me? No. But our relaying capabilities? That's on the final countdown. We're going offline in three... two... one and a half... No. Wait, I've lost track of my weeks. Maybe it was 36, or, uh, sometime dire soon. Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The event's forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. That signal's part of how Groundbreaker stays autonomous and independent. Much as I'd love to hear fewer corporate jingles, this would be bad. We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, the chief. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky, or I'll get my approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. 
I could do with some leisure reading. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the Relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? The Relay stations orbit the edge of the Halcyon system, so they tend to receive the majority of any transmissions from Earth. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. Greeting, potential customer. Welcome to Auntie's Kitchen, a home style consumable protein dispensary. May this unit dispense proteins for your ingestion. Beginning dispensing sequence. Please unblock all relevant facial protein ingestion tubes. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local board and team. Get cooler in here? I swear they had the heat turned way the hell up. Ellie, my mind, but it's been a while. How's that whisper muzzle working out for you? I sold it. Didn't seem to make me any quieter. Hmm, that mod was for your gun, not your smart mouth. You want to bust my chops? Do it over drinks next time I'm on station. Please don't mind her. Everything I sell works as advertised. Some people just like to sass me, because I don't bite back. When you were safe, who took your temperature? You sure have seen a lot of the colony, huh, Dr. Fenhill? Ellie. 
And sure, but most of it looks the same from inside a ship. Sorry, Dr. Ellie. Still, though, don't you find it thrilling? See it in space? Down on 22, Look, you did it's it just Ellie. Only one, a legit haul. Smashed up a freighter out in the Charybdis belt. You ever stop to wonder how it got smashed up? Asking questions is a good way to forfeit my bones. Have either of the assault pieces ever put into groundbreaking? A second? Hey, we don't know each other yet, but I'm Felix Millstone. I was in the middle of a little discussion with the local authorities when you passed me by. I noticed your ship in port. Got to thinking you might be looking for some crew, so I wandered by. Just to take a closer look. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine-looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. Oh, okay. Well, uh, can you give me a couple of pointers? Hey, that's good advice. I like the way you think, boss. Besides, not like there's a line of folks standing around hoping to get on your ship. I'm persistent, I'm eager, and I'm showing initiative. What else do you want in your crew? Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not gonna regret this. I'll just gather my personals and meet you on board. This is gonna be great. You got a crew now, Felix. 